Okay, now let's look at question number 11, part B of 2024 combined mathematics A level paper. Right. So the first part in that is given that this function fx is x cube plus px squared plus qx plus p, where p, q are real numbers. They have given us remainder when we divide fx by x minus 2 is 36 more than. The remainder you get when you divide fx by x minus 1. Using that, we have to show that 3p plus q is equal to 29. Right. Remainder when you divide fx by x minus 2 is given by what? Using the remainder theorem, we know that is given by f of 2. And they are saying that is what? 36 more than the remainder you get when you divide fx by x minus 1. So what is it's 36 more than the remainder when you get when you divide fx by x minus 1. So remainder when you divide fx by x minus 1 is given by f of 1. So we have this equation. Now let's find f of 2 and f of 1 and substitute here and then simplify and we will get the result so f of 2 is going to be 8 plus 4p plus 2q plus p equals 36 f of 1 is going to be 1 plus p plus q plus p so cancel whatever things you can cancel and simplify you can cancel 1p 1p here then let's simplify you have p 4p minus p becomes 3p and q you move to this side then you get q then 37 minus 8 so that gives you what 3p plus q is equal to 29 let's say that is equation 1 right then the next part is what now they have also mentioned x plus 1 is a factor of fx right if then using that we have to show p is equal to 6 and q is, q is equal to 11 then factor fx completely so let's first use this x plus 1 is a factor of fx means what from the factor theorem f of minus 1 should be equal to 0 so then let's find f of minus 1 so that is going to be minus 1 plus p minus q plus p right so we'll write that down minus 1 plus p minus q plus p is equal to 0 then let's simplify this so you get 2p minus q equals 1 that is our second equation and this is our first equation 3p plus q right so let me write that here 3p plus q equals 29 it's equal to that so we get that so now using 1 and 2 we can do what add the equations together so then 5p is equal to 30 then p is equal to 6 that is done then using 1 from 1 we know 3p is going to be 18 18 plus q is equal to 29 so that gives you q equals 11 right so that part is done now we can factor fx right so let's write down fx with the given p and q values fx is x cube p is 6 q is 11 so right p is 6 so 6x six squared plus 11x plus 6 we already know from the previous part x plus 1 is a factor so we will use that so then we can write this as x plus 1 times we need to get a quadratic inside so by comparing this term 
and the constant term we can create that quadratic so we need to have a x squared to get x cube we have plus one here we want plus six so plus one has to be multiplied by plus six right then what else uh, the middle term we need 6x squared so already we get x squared from here 1x squared so we are missing 5x squared so we have to put a 5x here so that then x times 5x will give you 5x squared so that is our quadratic now factor the quadratic so this is easy x plus 2 times x plus 3 so that is the fully factored form of the quadratic sorry the, the function f right now the last part last part of this question is what uh, you want to solve fx equals 3 times x plus 2 right so we will use the factored form factored form is what x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 so substitute it here to the left hand side and the right hand side is 3 times x plus 2 move everything to one side and factor right so we have x plus 2 as a common factor so we'll take it out and write what is left we are left with x plus 1 times x plus 3 minus 3 now let's simplify the inside so x plus 2 x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 3 equals 0 and 3 and minus 3 will cancel you get x plus 2 x squared plus 4x now we can factor this one so what do we have x plus 2 take x out from this one each term has x so we can take x out then what is left x plus 4 so we have the fully factored form from this we have three solutions x equals minus 2 0 and minus 4 right so that is the answer for question number 11 part b right next we will do question number 12